Hello, and welcome to this video about Coverity Security Advisor, a part of the Coverity development testing platform that helps reduce the risk of costly and brand damaging security vulnerabilities in the field and in production. Security Advisor services security defects right in the developer's workflow, providing highly accurate results with actionable remediation guidance. Developers are armed with the information they need to troubleshoot and fix the security defects that matter quickly and efficiently before code makes it to security audit. Issues found by the Coverity Static Analysis Verification Engine, SAVE, are surfaced to Security Advisor so that developers may use Coverity Connect to remediate the defects using their preferred interface. SAVE works continuously behind the scenes, using patented technologies to find real software problems, like out-of-bounds memory access, overflows, SQL injection, and cross-site scripting. It understands modern web application frameworks, including dependency injection and MVC, so there's no need for error-prone configuration. We've tuned the engine over our decade of experience, thousands of users, and billions of lines of proprietary and open source code. The result is the most accurate, scalable, developer-friendly platform with the lowest false positive rate in the industry. As the graphic illustrates, the platform integrates with other analysis engines like Coverity Dynamic and Architecture Analysis, even third-party and custom analysis tools. The platform also works with other tools like version control, bug tracking systems, and third-party integrations to improve the analysis and to ensure that information flows to external groups as necessary. I'm going to show a typical use of the platform's web interface on a Java web application. This is just one possible use. The Coverity platform adapts to you, rather than requiring you to change your process and allows developers to stay in their comfort zone. Developers do not need to be security experts to effectively eliminate defects. Security Advisor was specifically built to fit into the developer workflow, which is substantially different from the security auditor workflow. This enables you to build security into development and improve the effectiveness of security audits later in the cycle. This is what a developer might see when they log in. The web interface has shortcuts along the left, which help them quickly start addressing the important issues. Maybe they want to see all new defects or all outstanding security risks. There are obviously a lot of other choices, and you can define filters that find the things that are important to you. As I select those links, the list of issues on the top center changes. That list contains all the issues in Coverity Connect which match the selected filter, not just those surfaced by Security Advisor. This is a great time saver for developers since they can view and prioritize all their issues in one place and get a global view. This defect looks interesting. When I open it, note how easy it is to understand. There are annotations in the source browser to help explain the defect. The first thing you may notice is the yellow remediation advice. This tells the developer specifically how to fix the defect. In this case, they need to use the escape.html method to properly escape the variable named HTML before adding it to the response. Note that this advice is presented right where the change needs to happen. Defects may occur in a number of different contexts, and Security Advisor is careful to provide remediation guidance that is specific to the actual content. It might recommend a different escaping function, for example, if the value is going into an XML attribute or JavaScript, and will use a context-appropriate syntax when the defect is reported in a JSP. Our white box fuzzer detects the escaping functions used in your application, and we will recommend those when appropriate. To fully understand the defect, you can read the orange annotations. They provide information about the data flow related to the variable affected. You can see that HTML is tainted because it is based on the variable named value reference, which is passed into this handler as a request parameter. This flow is summarized in the Occurrences tab in the lower right. Each of those red diamonds is a hyperlink to the relevant line of code. By following those lines, you can see how the data flows from source to sync, including any detours like being stored in the database or a session variable. While investigating the defect, developers have a fully functional code browser. They can do things like select symbols to see all the uh, references within the current scope. They can also use the drop-down menu to do useful things like browse references or view the definition in line, which shows the definition inside the original code so that everything is in one place. In the expanded code, you would see similar annotations when relevant to help explain what's wrong. 
You can even nest these inline expansions as deep as necessary. You can see how everything is designed to simplify things for the developer. They don't need to guess about code paths or values or jump around to different functions, files, or windows when investigating defects. The specific context-sensitive remediation guidance ensures that the defect gets fixed properly the first time. The interface provides additional resources for understanding the defect. The CWE link goes to the Common Weakness Enumeration website, an industry standard catalog of software defects, and an excellent source of information. To help developers understand the impact of this defect, the Occurrences tab also identifies other branches affected by this defect. In this case, we can see that the trunk and 1.2 branches are affected. The triage pane in the upper right is where the developer remediates the defect. This defect was automatically assigned to me, ensuring that no time is wasted on redundant investigation. I've indicated that the defect needs a fix and used the export button to create a record in the bug tracking system so that other teams are aware of the issue. These settings are automatically shared with the rest of the team and you can view the history of a defect after the fact. The settings are also remembered in subsequent analyses so you don't need to waste time sifting through this defect report every time. Once a fix is committed in the code, we'll even automatically recognize that it has been fixed. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Coverity Security Advisor. For more information about the Coverity Development Testing Platform, please browse Coverity.com, send us a message, or request a trial.